the Jameson Empire Film Awards. Not just another award ceremony for the film industry, because this is special. The readers of Empire Magazine get to vote for their films of 2009 splash 2010. Of course, the obvious films are in there, like Avatar and Glorious Bastards and The Hurt Locker. And we'll be seeing some of the stars of 2009 here on the red carpet. Christoph Boltz added yet another award to his long list of Best Actor and Supporting Actor gongs. It's hard to believe he'll have enough space for them all, isn't it? Sci-Fi was the toast of the festivities, with the readers of Empire giving Avatar Best Film, Best Director and Best Actress prizes. Although, strangely, Zoe Saldano's prize was picked up by Johnny Vegas, a proud owner of a complimentary bottle of whiskey. But the event was really about celebrating the careers of some of Britain's leading actors. Jude Law picked up the Empire Hero Award, whilst Andy Serkis was completely completely taken by surprise to win the HMV Inspiration Award for his work in motion capture, but he still managed to pull out an excellent speech off the hoof. I mean, I tried to sort of talk about this weird sort of trajectory my career took after Lord of the Rings and, and getting involved in performance capture as a, as a real art form and uh, trying to educate, uh, you know, future filmmakers and actors and uh, directors in, into the notion that it isn't, you know, about, you know, it's about acknowledging what actors do in that field because there's still a lot of misunderstanding about that. Ray Winston and Daughters were also at the awards to celebrate his outstanding contribution to British Film Award, an honour that meant even more to the 44-inch chess star because it came straight from the fans. Well, it, it's, it makes you very proud if the people have voted for you to get an award, then that's what you make films for, you know? And if they like what you do, they're not necessarily they're saying that every film you make is a great film, because it's not, but if they, if they vote for you, it makes you very proud. But the big gong went to Ian McKellen, awarded Empire Icon by his Waiting for Godot and X-Men co-star and best friend Patrick Stewart, and he was grateful for the roles he's played in major movies to help him towards his iconic status. Means they've enjoyed the films I've made, or some of them. Yeah. We've all. I, I suspect, particularly Lord of the Rings and, and the X-Men movies, in which I play iconic figures. So maybe that's why I've been called an icon.